Welcome everybody to another episode of Books and Batches. No, don't do it again. Don't. Okay. I'm Kristen. Not to be confused. <laughs> You're throwing Kristen off. I can't do this. You're throwing her so off. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. That's almost Here like one of those like Spanish guitars. Welcome everybody to another episode of Books and Betches. Not to be confused with Books and. <laughs> I'm Kristen, <laughs> and with me I have. And. Okay, that's Erica, and that's Maria. <laughs> um, this is a book I like podcast. To join Erica's antics. This is a book podcast. We swear, we spoil, and we talk about. Sex. <laughs> watching this podcast go on over to youtube and look up books and betches i promise you it's a treat it's a delight it's a fucking delight no we're on spotify video now bitch oh, did it we work? Are? Yeah. yeah yeah but most people i would say listen to this on apple on apple yeah no actually no, no. no. really or is that actually otherwise that's actually 100 a fallacy oh. I Policy. didn't know people used Spotify for podcasts. I should start doing that. I do. I um, never, I didn't know it was a thing. I always use Spotify for myself. I had no idea. I'm one of those Spotify bitches. So <laughs> Joe Rogan's I, podcast is, has <sighs> video. Yeah. I, the only reason I use the Apple is because when I, one day I was like, I want to listen to podcasts. So I typed in podcast and, and it's literally is, called podcast. Yep, so. yep. 55% of you listen on Spotify. Wow. wow. 39% on Apple podcast and no 6% Apple. elsewhere. Huh. Cool. It, it just says other. I don't know what that, that other is. That is really interesting. That's fun. So this is a book, book podcast. We're talking about books. The book that we're doing this week was uh, Hot Off the Press is recommended from Erica. Erica, what book is it? Sweet Ruin. No. Can you say it more? It was not Sweet Ruin. Which one was it? not what you told me to read. I did not read that. Which one was it? No, it was No uh, Rest wicked. for the Wicked. No Rest for the Wicked, right. Oh, okay. boy. I thought for a second, I was like, did I read the wrong book? So the book is... No oh. Rest for the Wicked by who? Cressley Cole. Cressley Cole. We've heard Erica talk about Cressley Cole once or twice. Um, big Several fan. Times. Big Cressley Cole fan over here. Number one Cressley Cole fan. She has a couple t-shirts. Says that. <laughs> um, and this book, I don't... What genre? It is. This is like true... Um, Urban fantasy? Uh, paranormal romance. Oh. Oh. It is. It is because um or like because it's not really like an urban romance because there are elements where you're not really like in the in world, the world mm -hmm. but at the same time like there's like a whole lore that's what yeah. it's called the lore they do call it the lore of the book it's really like huh. the things that she's like comes up with like these like mm -hmm. anecdotal like mm -hmm. the world that she's built is really really fascinating yep. I know you have your own like feelings about some of these <laughs> things but like when you break it down to like where mm -hmm. like the actual science of it all it's like no it's cool just as brilliant as like a harry potter i like, love world building so, so. freaking cool mm -hmm. as i don't you think i got reading. far enough into you did it not. so <laughs> the n normal dynamic of erica and maria read the book i tried i really did i got like five chapters in and then i gave up i couldn't do it anymore i don't know if it was the narration and it's listen, just not for me it's also for me. you're allowed to dnf thank That's you fine yeah. I, we you. do not shame for dnf it sucks because they know it's a book you really enjoy so it's not a reflection on your taste um i just this is not for me here's the thing okay the first immortal after dark book that i read was the original first one which is a hunger like no other yeah i read it and i remember having this conversation with Corey, romancing the reader and i was like this book is fucking weird mm. like i literally was like it's fucking weird what made like, it weird I, I like it um so she's a half vampire okay. and he is like a werewolf and he and he or he's a likey which like is like, her like a like a like it's Leech? like a werewolf type thing. So oh, he like Winthrope is like a thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So they're called like a. Yeah. Okay. So he wakes up out of his sleep, and she's a half vampire, half Valkyrie. Which the Valkyrie are fucking badass. Is the Valkyrie kind of like a fae? They're like warrior like people. Right, but I'm not sure what like. Yeah, they're fae. Because she has they're like fae pointy ears. They're so fae. It's like they're fae. But they're like. But I think they're Valkyries like are like, like a thing though. I uh, yeah, I don't know. So anyways, so he wakes up out of slumber. He steals her. And then tries to like bring her home because it's like his mate, and then like the whole the whole story is them. Like, That's the first whatever. one. Whatever. That's the first one. Okay. okay. And I was like, this is fucking weird. So it's yeah. Norse mythology according to that. A Valkyrie. But chooses... then I kept reading, and I was like, oh wait, these books are 
good and then i kept like how many have you read i don't know because they're i like forget because how many are wild. there like over 20 25 maybe? holy shit i bet you she's read so they just came out with so Cressley cole um wrote all these books and then took like i think it was a three-year hiatus mm-hmm. i believe i there believe was that, yeah. no formal communication on where she was that whole time Monroe which was the last book that just came out was set to come out in like you know whatever year date and then it they just were like nope it's not coming out and really? then no and she didn't say anything she didn't release anything she didn't release a statement nobody said anything authors like people everyone speculating like what happened nobody knows still like to, to this day she nobody said, knows fuck it I'm tired I'm gonna go for a little three week three, there was three year vacation. there was theories she's back now there was theories that she was sick uh-huh. oh um i don't like that theory me either. there was theories that she got hurt mm. somehow i don't like that either um and then there was theories that people that she just didn't like feel like doing it my like theory, theory is that after writing 20 plus books in the same world she said let me give my mind a break so i can yeah. bring some good new fresh material to this world i've already created so is she back like back so she you just re- she i think like six or seven months ago came out of nowhere really and was just that's like hey cool. that's Monroe's, kind of badass. Monroe's yeah. dropping january 2022 that's kind of badass like because yeah. in this day and age it's so hard for people to actually just like get off the grid and yeah. leave and never be found again it's true that's kind of what nf's whole thing is I'm Did do that? His, well his, his whole thing is like he will drop an album and then like lay off social media and doesn't do press appearances him. and stuff like that i love him and then he'll just randomly drop another project and it's like oh shit okay i was listening to uh my normal playlist on the way and, and the search came on mm-hmm. and i love the beginning oh my god i'm it's obsessed like, hey nate i was like <laughs> i don't know it's all, all right, right. <laughs> i love it so i think the f- original was uh was supposed to be like sometime in 2019 yeah. is she working on anything else I'm sure she's like gonna continue to write the end of so I got the arc from is she Monroe. like successful like it does, is there a lot of people that these books this? have a lot of these high are, ratings these are really really, really high rated yeah. they're like all over but I mean like point. a lot of people read them 55,000 I just wonder how much money like a author she probably makes a you think so the this, the narrator alone is so expensive for these really? books. I always wonder he that. Seems he's, like he's a he's, very legitimate yeah he's like a well known actor so he so these oh. books all have I know this one particularly like it was um more like transylvanian um accent yeah yeah the like a are scottish mm-hmm. the there's he does, like he does all the accents he does all of the he's accents. good at the accents wow. the there's book, like the really, i just don't like when he reads the women that's it i, yeah, I can't get, I get you. behind like it men does some moaning. of it's weird it's some weird when men weird. moan as women it's i'm like I it's can't. really weird but yeah. once you just like let go of that and just get past it and I just mm-hmm, yeah. it's it you get over it that's but true. yes, it was very weird when I'm hearing him like act out the the sex scenes, and it's like she doesn't have to sound like that. Yeah, <laughs> there are some books where he does like six different accents. Yeah, and All right. it's just well, like it's he did several un- for this book. He has like some of these characters have like really f- refined like British accents. Mm-hmm. There's like a Southern girl, the there's, Southern like, girl. There's a Scottish guy. There's you know obviously our main vampire dude. It's just crazy. All right, let's do the sixty right. seconds before we get to it. I forgot their it. names. Um, you're doing it. Her name is Kiernan. Uh, Katerin, Katerin and, and Sebastian. And Maria, you want to do it? Yeah, I'm doing it because right, Erica read it and it's going to be too easy for her to do it. True. So if you're new here and this is your first time listening to our podcast, we do, this, this. This. <laughs> we do this thing where we attempt to uh, say the entire plot summary of a book in 60 seconds or less. It's really hard. It's really fun. Uh, Maria is going to do it this week. She's going to do the No Rest for the Wicked. Yes. In 60 seconds or less. You ready? Doesn't matter. Uh, Here we go. In three, two, everything. one, go. <laughs> okay, we start off the book with uh, Sebastian, and it's sort of a prologue with him and his brothers. His brothers force him to be a vampire. He's very upset about it. Uh, fast forward, Kier, 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 Katerin. 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 She is on. Uh, she ca- kills vampires for a living because uh, they killed her sisters when she was young, or younger, I guess, because she's like over a thousand years old. Anyway, she kills vampires. She comes across this guy, Sebastian, who's a vampire now. Uh, when she kill him and she's like i can't i can't kill you what and he's like oh you're my bride that's why you can't kill ah, i love you you're my bride so then at the same time katarin has to join this um this tournament this big tournament that to, at the end of it you get a key and the key helps you travel in time so she wants to travel back in time seconds. to save her sisters from being murdered by vampires but at the same time sebastian's like 
bro you're my you're my bride so where are you going i'm gonna help you get all this stuff and so they go through this these these things and go in different places antarctica and paris and argentina and all these things at the end she ends up dying and then he uses the key to bring her back and then they go back in time help help sisters and they live happily ever after see the end (laughs) (laughs) that was really good that was really good i'm not gonna lie that hooked me i was like okay that sounds really cool i i think you just didn't listen to it I, I thought you would like this because of the tournament yeah part I, of it. it's just that what confused me was it opened with that prologue mm-hmm. of the brothers and you hate turning prologues. no but they, i didn't mind that they turned sebastian he's now a vampire and then it was like present day and she's going to find him and he's like bummed that he's a vampire and i'm like is he still bummed after all these years they made it seem he's like sleeping. he was sleeping the entire time i missed that i was like i'm so confused on the timeline he, of why he seems like a new vampire he when it's didn't been wanna, years he later. didn't want anything to do with it at all so he just like went and just chilled sleeping he's like i'm uh, not gonna live this life as a vampire how did he i don't want to be a vampire he's a vampire he doesn't have to he can just like go in a comatose state metamorphosis they don't need like blood or anything no he's probably weak yeah he's probably weak but they basically just dry out and they just become like a comatose have you seen the main dracula movie no well normally they just shrivel up and become like a a prune kind (laughs) of thing and then a little drop happens and any kind of blood they get like awake i think i'm ready to have this argument not yet let me get the, the book what out argument the argument we had on discord last night about wanting va- like having a, an attraction to vampires i can't believe people want to date vampires i can't believe this is a thing i get it they're hot great i think they're you're, cold I think you're harping they on the- suck your blood they go they can't go out in the daytime they are fucking they're not you, you, not humans. every vampire is like that this that's what i'm saying what vampire if we're talking about the real true vampires the first vampires created by like like dracula yeah the real fucking scary vampires that should exist not these hot sexy sparkly vampires the real vampires you wouldn't want to fucking date that he would kill you in your sleep not even that he would suck you dry. When I get my blood taken, I could pass out sometimes. I know, but I, I think you're thinking of vampires in terms of just <laughs> they're they're taking. Yeah, like they think, are. Think on the true blood level where you're gonna have an orgasm. Okay. That's the point. That's that's what happens Great. in this book. That's all we care about is yes. having an orgasm while I the die. People do. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Even if he kills you, you just want to go out with an orgasm and you're good to be dead. Listen, if, if I were I'm to die that way, to, yeah. I mean, I would want to die like that too. Uh, yeah. I agree. But still, I think the point okay, stands. I think you're focusing a lot on just the act of the vampirism pit and not the other side of it. That they're hot. They're hot. They don't die. And they have super cool skills. That, That's you know, the only thing. They don't die. So you know, like, they, they're you're going to get older and you're going to shrivel up like a piece Unless of shit. they turn you. See, I don't want to be. T- I don't want to be immortal. That sounds horrible. Okay, then don't date a vampire. So there's. I just so can't believe people fantasize over this. They don't disgusting. fantasize. They're okay reading. You know what it. vampires are? Ticks, leeches, anything that yeah, sucks. Yeah, that is that's what she that calls. They, they that's call, what she calls anything him. Anything that leeches. sucks blood. You should have read this book for real though. <laughs> anything that sucks blood to me is pointless and disgusting. Okay. Hmm. What do ticks do? Hmm. Besides, okay, they feed. They 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 give Lyme disease. What sucks blood? Ticks, leeches, leeches mosquitoes. I feel like, I feel mosquitoes. Like what's a good? What's good for a mosquito besides the fact that bats eat them? Yeah, they're good for the ecosystem, but at the same time, they do, are the not ecosystem. beneficial for us at all. Don't they eat spiders? The about us. No, they don't eat spiders. Or spiders spiders, spiders eat them. them. Mosquitoes are literally pointless. Um, they, I mean, oh, they really. they really help a lot. The bats. Yeah, yeah they help a lot. But they, if they weren't in our ecosystem, it doesn't there would be don't in like them. Tasmanian devils like suck blood or something? I don't know. Maybe. My, like point, my, point is, my point my point is my point is what about chupacabras blood suckers uh, chupacabras. chupacabras back again let's, with the chupacabras let's circle back to the chupacabras would you date a zombie let's circle it's not back the same thing it is though they're both it's dead not they're both dead dead so they feed off dead. other people dead is one common dead. denominator of brain zombie dead. is full on brain dead and gross what and, about a fresh healing off a fresh zombie somebody who just are, turned a fresh zombie is not ever fresh <laughs> it's they are decaying Decaying. my point is your point why are we sexualizing and fantasizing something that could be why are you saying we because everybody does i think you're just i'm thinking of zodiac academy and the fact that these vampires run around and suck people's blood different issue different issue it makes me mad different issue bully romance that should make you upset but the point is like i don't get why we are obsessed with vampires moving on from the fact that he's a vampire he doesn't even fucking want to be a vampire i don't blame him 
She doesn't want him to be a vampire. I don't blame her. Nobody in this book wants to be a vampire. <laughs> Good. But you However, probably are still in love with him and sexualized him and not really. You want no. those powers. She's However, However, they have moved past it because they're faded mates and you hate faded mates. So let's <laughs> I think take that's a where deep it lost. dive that's into where I, your like where psyche where it's like this sounds like a deeper issue. No, I got I did I did fall off as soon as he was like faded you're my mates. bride and I was like what the fuck just happened? She walked into his house to kill him and then all of a sudden it was swept off her feet all and of was these, his bride. All these that's books, ridiculous. All these books are faded mates. Mm. It happened in two seconds. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. I didn't have time to register that she was there to kill him. Yeah, she was there, and then he swept her off her feet, and I was like, yeah. "I'm done. I'm done. Turn it off." I, but Katarin is a badass bitch. Oh, she didn't seem like what? one. I like how he like calls her Katya. Yeah, I so love he when just, they do she that. She just changes her name without her consent. I like that. Name. I think it's like the the right, um, but like ask her. But it's like, not Russian. I think they're Transylvanian. Right, but Katarin and Katya are two different, very things. different names. No, but okay, so in Lothair, the girl's name is Elizabeth, and he calls her Lizvetha. What world is that's this? Like oh. the, that's like the that's the Transylvanian translation. Katarin and Katya don't sound too close. What world is this set in? A, a world. Okay. I know it's, so, it's the world. Okay, so it's the world. It's the world. <laughs> so she goes to his castle. To kill him. To kill him. She kills kills vampires. And I didn't really get what happened from when she was trying to kill him to then being... So when she went to kill him, basically she just... She couldn't. Okay, but she tried. Yeah, her her whole intention was to kill the guy. But the minute she even, like, lifted her thing, she's like, why can't I strike? Oh. And she just couldn't. And then they find out they're married. Okay, then what happens? They're not married. Well, they're his bride. He calls her his bride. That's what the, like, the the vampires call brides. Or their like betrothed Mate, okay. is bride, called my bride. bride. Okay, like Dracula's and bride. And she is she like, I mean, I know that they like dry hump and she has an orgasm, but oh, also we have to. I missed this entirely in the six seconds. Since um, Katarin's sister's death, she was put uh, given a blessing where she can no longer feel. So she has no feelings, no anger, no sorrow, no nothing. That's she fucked. is she is a cold hearted Katarin the cold. Catherine the Cold Heart is what her name is. And so she lived that way for hundreds of years, just existing without any feelings. The minute he comes in, she starts to feel again. Imagine. That's what she said. She's like, what the fuck? Yeah. I haven't felt nothing for hundreds of years. Now I got in. Uh, now I'm, like I'm feeling because you, I'm upset now. I'm angry now. I'm happy now. I'm this mm-hmm. now. Like she hasn't felt that for hundreds of years. And she doesn't understand right. how he is the key to that. Okay. Yeah. So what happens after they dry hump and like he? So she she goes, runs away. She goes to. Start I got the, confused with the the chapter when it ended. I don't think I understood what happened at the end after the castle, and then it went to a new chapter, and I didn't know the times were like confusing me. So I, yeah, just sometimes walk me he she basically just leaves him. Right. Okay. That's right. She yeah. leaves him. Okay. Goes to start her the high is what it's called. The high. The high is that big trial, the big uh, tournament thing. Yeah, that sounded cool. He finds yeah. out that she's doing the high, so he joins the high, and too. He can do this has thing. no fucking idea. He has so no idea what it is. The, these vampires, the vampire that he is, it, they basically don't, they never drink um, human blood. Because if they do, they get in like a frenzy kind of thing where they just, they just go bloodthirsty. So they're called a specific type of vampire. They're the forebearers. Mm-hmm. And the forebearers are not part of the lore. So they're not allowed to learn like anything about the lore. So he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know she's a Valkyrie. She he doesn't know like other what other vampires do. He doesn't know about Lyke. He doesn't know about the High. It's extremely ignorant. Well, no, they don't. They're not. You're not Plus allowed. Plus, he's to been say. sleeping. Yeah, that too. He's been sleeping, but you're just not like the forebears. You're just not just, part of that world. What does he drink? Is he an animal or like blood bags or something? Like he, they don't drink got from it, the human. Um, so like they have no fucking so during the whole like overarching of this the forebears are trying to learn more and more about like the lore and they can't and yeah. it's like very funny because like they're like what the fuck and they're, they're just like no we're not gonna tell you yeah. you're not like, part of this group sorry um, but yeah so they're like g- the good vamp they're good vampires oh cool apparently also like their eyes go black right if they drink from the street from the vein so, they, so basically like they sound like good vampires for the record are. i wasn't saying all vampires are bad in the last it sounds episode. like you are it sounds like it sounds you i are. said a i said i wouldn't date a vampire b i said those people in twilight are bad vampires she was talking about the actual coven, which makes sense James and them. because she wrote it as because them being killing, bad because they were killing the other people but edward, it wasn't, was, edward killed a bunch of people before yeah that he was birthdays. bad 
He was so bad. You can't like was. be unbad once you kill. He everyone. redeemed himself. You can you can have a you redemption can arc. What are you, you can about? be a serial killer and just be not, not a serial ser- killer. Then anymore. you're not a serial killer anymore. So the <laughs> the forebears. So basically, what happens that they don't the forebears don't know this is that and this is what happens to Lothair is if you drink to the quick is what they call it. If you drink to kill, yeah, you will take in all of their memories and go eventually go crazy so the more people that you but not only that kill if you, if you drink any human blood you get memories direct from the vein you get their memories Ugh. and some so, of them sounds like a burden. Them, at one point um these two have a hot and heavy moment and he accidentally grazes her with his fang of course and drinks a little he's a bit vampire. of her blood yeah he, he, didn't, he didn't do. mean to that's what i'm saying they can't control he it didn't mean and so he to. gets her memories and he learns about her sisters and like what exactly this is why she's in the high because he doesn't understand why she's going through all of this to what is the what? high the high is the, the, competition. the competition but like what is the outcome of it it's a bunch of different tasks you have okay. to go around the world yeah um you when one of them they so go it's to the amazing Antarctic, race basically it's the amazing race it's basically <laughs> and the amazing a, race. a goddess puts it on a goddess okay. in charge of it all and at the end I of it, it all you can me. get you can get a key a crazy prize this year this happened case, to be it's a key that gets you you can travel in time uh oh, but Catherine does it every year Catherine has won several times is it always the same prize no oh. no oh, different oh, oh, oh. in this case the key's happening and she's really she has to have this yeah. key right sebastian is saying to her is like that's you can't just time travel time travel doesn't make there's there's this whole um uh, scientific thing that they both reference that they know and he's like you know about this science thing valkyrie woman and she's like <laughs> yeah i have intelligence <laughs> so like that was a little exchange where they talk about the relativity of time some thing above my head i'm not that smart mm-hmm. so he's like no you can't really do that time travel thing it doesn't work that way according to these studies and then fast forward to the end and then the goddess is like well you were half right you can go back but you can't fix the future kind of thing you're still gonna know what you did and it's a big time loop thing it's something about like and they this is done in other immortal after dark books is like you have to do it at the right time interesting so she wins this does she win the tournament no no so her stepsister stepsister she is on the phone with her and she can tell the future she can like look into the future and stuff and she asked her like what do you see and the sister goes kind of berserk and has like a whole mental breakdown basically she saw that um katarin is gonna die okay and so at this point katarin's like well i'm gonna die but i'm gonna go out swinging i'm gonna get what i have to get but isn't she in love with sebastian at this point there's no I, I there's no love there's no love in oh, this. yeah, yeah. I, I until mean, the end until the very end and even then like my thing with this wait book, so this whole bride thing happens and then she just like they put it on the back burner the whole time she he's trying to come at her the whole time like you're my bride okay, i'm meant to so be with he's you trying she's like bro i'm doing my shit like okay. back off okay. and he can do this thing where he can trace which is basically teleporting right yeah he yeah. can teleport but he can only teleport to places he's been okay but for some reason he could trace to her mm-hmm. which is weird well they're can't. mates i guess <laughs> so um the whole time he's tracing trying to help her and she's like i don't need your help let me do this on my own i always went on my own leave me alone i work Got alone you. okay so that's the, it's that push and pull the entire time where she doesn't want to fall for him but like they have a connection mm-hmm. it's very insta lust mm-hmm. mm-hmm. um he's technically a virgin almost yeah that's right he didn't have a lot of experience with women uh, so when he was turned but so. he was a very successful warrior so they knew yeah, so they knew of him they yeah. knew of him and yeah that's basically it then she does well, wait, the trials wait. there's the call and she freaks out she's gonna die so if i go out and go out swinging she goes she towards does the trials she goes for the final trial how like does this. she lose um they go to this lava monster thing okay and it's like the only way immortals can die fire like oh. just full on like anyway so the this thing that they're trying to get to is in a cave within this lava thing and there's this monster she's trying to go after it sebastian's on the other side being like what are you doing let me help you i can just trace in there and she's like i got it leave it alone and then at that point she knew that this is where she's gonna die wow so she goes to him and she goes listen get my sisters back save my sisters i'm gonna sacrifice myself save my sisters Damn, I got the goosies. and so she does that fucking fall she lets go falls into the lava and dies sebastian ends up his arm getting gripped off by his mm-hmm. fights with shit right so but he ends up winning he gets the 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 scottish guy who's also in the race which is cool so his book he it is his book 
And so he, like, has a, he has he has his own a mate too. He his whole and thing. He has a, he wants the key for something else for his mate. Oh, that's he cool. lost his mate. That's cool. And so he that's wants how the key these to save things her. Like, I like that. That's slowly neat. cross over yeah. because you like you learn you, all these stories. So yeah. like you learn that Bowen like did like X Y Z during like this thing, and when you go into his book, there's a whole slew of problems because of what he did in this book. That's cool. So oh, yeah. like, but these two people are not connected, right? Got like, it, but it. they meet each other. Like, their stories overlap like this, Converge and then they bit. yeah, yeah, blossom out. That's so cool. he gets stuck in that cave mm-hmm. behind the lava, right? Sebastian. But because Sebastian can oh. t- trace out, he basically went in, got whatever the item was that he needed to get, traced out, went to the goddess, be like, "Look, I did it. Give me the key. It's time to. I need to save Katarin." Like she said, so he goes back. He uses so it. So he save uses her. it. Goes back in time to about seven or so minutes before she falls in. His arm's obviously gone. Like, even though he goes back in time, his body's still going to be the same way as it is in the future. So he goes back in time and he sees her and she's like, he, she's like, what are you doing? The same thing. The same line mm-hmm. goes through. But he told her, he's like, you already died and you sent me here to save you, to save your sisters. Oh, wow. So they do a little time jump and they go and they save the sisters. And the sisters died in the middle of a big ass battle. So they save them from the battle. So they go into the battle. Which he's a vampire for, so she's like, don't show them that the you're a vampire. Work? Do you put it in something? Or I don't know. I, I, they didn't explain I it. I always wonder how people... They didn't explain it. Okay. Like... it. I think there was a door. There is a door of some sort, because they mentioned the door. Okay. Uh, but I don't know how if you just put it in the air and just right. whatever. Right. Uh, so they go back. They save the sisters. The sisters at first are very like, that's but, a vampire. I don't fuck with that. Like, no. Mm-hmm. So Katarin and Sebastian sort of separate for a bit. Sebastian's very sad about it because, like, that's his bride. He doesn't want to be away from her, but he understands that she might have to let him go mm-hmm. to be with her sisters because that's what she was doing all this for, and he will really willingly sacrifice. And then uh, fast forward a little bit. The sisters are finally like, listen, you're happiest with him. We know you are. Go be with him. Aww. And then they all go live happily ever after. Wow. I really like this book because I love how it crosses over with the other one with that Bowen. That is very cool. Uh, that was like my dream as a kid. I wanted to write a bunch of stories where they all like did that. So cool. It's so, a dream. So Nyx, the, sis- the stepsister. That's the one with the She visions. is okay. the person that sews this whole thing together. Oh, all, that's the whole so story. cool. So she's crazy. Like bat yeah. shit fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And she is a bat that like his name's um, Bertil. Mm-hmm. And he just like is like this fucking weird ass bat. That, Why like, does that remind me of Rasputin's bat and Anastasia? it's very it's I very think her, sir. Like, <laughs> his name is Bertil and she's I like, like that and like in, in the book Bertie uh, yeah and like Bertil little like Nix is just like this like fucking basket case and sometimes Gives me she Harley makes, Quinn vibes sometimes she yeah sometimes she makes sense sometimes she doesn't but she's like the emote she's the oldest um uh Valkyrie, Valkyrie so she's the primordial so primordial. that primordial primordial yeah what does so that mean so th- whoever the oldest of the of that like group of people is is the primordial so she's like on almost godlike mm. at this point um and she basically she has these visions and that's what like keeps all of this together so she'll call up i don't know in one of the other books she'll be like yo you have to go to this like place like that you, you're gonna find your mate there and the guy will go and he'll get captured and tortured for like <gasps> years wow. but eventually it leads to his mate wow so like she fucks up everyone's life oh Damn. like literally God. that's wild. like and everyone's trying to get to her or like do something with her but she's just getting Imagine everyone you tell someone hey your mate's over there but you go through Years, years of torture, of torture or like, I hate her like, like she good. fucks everybody's <laughs> life up oh what a character I feel like there's more to life than mates I'm gonna go live my life right? I'll see you later it's like are we sure we need this one yeah right, right? get out of here but she's fucking awesome she's like a huge thread through this whole series that's cool and it's just so like to me how they do this is just so brilliant that is done. very brilliant that so is. for me reading this book I started off not caring too much mm-hmm uh also i listened to it on audio which you know that does affect how you like a book Mm -hmm. at first he seemed a little bit too over the top of the way his narration was but as he got into different voices i was like no you're over the top for a reason Mm -hmm. uh but when it came to their relationship and their their the beginning of their love i guess it was very lust first Mm -hmm. to me yeah it didn't i didn't feel any connection between them at all it felt That's like how I, felt. I felt like it was being forced yeah, in a way. I agree. And I only got super interested once once she got the premonition of her being going to die. Maybe I needed to just get past the the that couple part of it. Like I'm yeah. willing I'm willing to give it another try to be honest with you because what you what you just described sounded 
awesome. Like, Maybe I'm good at describing it. That might be I it. picked this one. I like this is not my favorite one. Yeah. But I picked this one specifically because I thought you would like the trial. Yeah. I got to get past book, the cover. Bowen's book is one of my favorites. I liked Bowen in this book. So his is very interesting. So he wanted the key because his mate died. His mate died, yeah. Years and years. So he's been a shell of a person for mm-hmm. 300 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So his mate dies. It just sucks he so doesn't get it. He wants, yeah, he, and he, and in the book, it's this whole fucking thing where he loses his mind because he, like, yeah. didn't get but the key. But also at the end, the thing is, after that, they're together, sort of thing. And it's like months later. And they're like, uh, I think Nyx has a vision or something. And someone's like, So what did we do with Bowen? And Sebastian's <laughs> like, Oh, I left him there. He should have gotten out by now. Oh, and someone's shit. like, no he's definitely still in there oh my god so i think they have to go go out and get him there's this whole like like his storyline is really cool his book is really really cool but his theirs is much more romance is that the the next book in the line or is that like down okay i i gave you oh no uh actually no that was no rest for the wicked this is number two in the series Oh yeah, so his book is the next one. Okay, Wicked Deeds on a Winter's Night. So my question is: now that they're together, Sebastian and I can't say her name, and Katerin, um, do the Valkyrie? Is it the Valkyrie? Mm-hmm. Do they care? They're just like, okay, you're dating a vampire. So that's fine. This is her the other sister. Thing. Her other her stepsister also married a vampire. You know which vampire she married? Sebastian's brother, of course. It's <laughs> the, all in the Ross fucking family. Well, the Ross have multiple books. Oh, great. So there's multiple, oh and they all marry different people. So one of the Roth brothers went crazy after the vampirism. And He's off. We can't find him yet. Can't find him. Yeah. He's in a I haunt- pictured vampire diaries in the beginning. He's in a haunted um, house, and the ghost that haunts the house he falls in love with. Oh, that's Stop cool. It. And then they try to figure out a way to make to her back. like back to life. They need so the key. So that's like the whole thing. <laughs> but they think he's crazy because they can't see the ghost. Oh. So that's it's like cool. a whole thing. Like- they, it, all of these stories are all very different which I is really, really cool I really did picture in that I liked the prologue it didn't bother me I really did picture Vampire Diaries though the episode where like it shows the old school mm. like that that was in my head the entire time like the sepia tone it definitely tone. gave me that same <laughs> it didn't yeah. give me Vampire Diaries vibes it gave me Dracula vibes interesting and also because his, his accent there, was very yeah, like very Pennsylvania yeah. I want to suck your blood <laughs> <laughs> there's my there's are my least favorite accents the likeies yeah. are so I love Scottish. Like the again? Scottish. They're werewolves. Scottish. Oh, they're werewolves. Do you get a, a, a bunch of that in this book? We got one guy. Oh. Bowen, right? Bowen. Bowen. It wasn't in. Oh, his Bowen accent's is great. Like, if you know. were going to read another one, I would tell you to read Bowen's. Read Bowen's? Okay. It's an enemies to lovers. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Instead of slow and there's burn. A, there's a whole twist and like there's a lot to yeah, it. I think there's a another thing about this book. I feel like there's a lot going on. Yeah, it's a lot packed in. I don't really care for the trials bit, like the 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 amazing race bit. I was like, eh. that's the part I would like. I was you hoping like Kristen yeah. would like it, yeah, and yeah. I was hoping that it was just like yeah. good enough we for you for to Kristen. like. I I thought it was fine. <laughs> I, I'll for try me, it was good not great um I'll i think it was it had a lot of good bits to it that would have made it like a strong story but for me this comes off as those books that are like and I, i'm not trying to bash it at all that's not what i'm doing here but it reminds me of the books that i would grab at walmart mm. Mm. that's the feeling and it's I got not too. like it's it's not one of those that you will sit there and think about often it's like yeah. it's just a random book you randomly saw at a walmart fast like book yeah. section and called it a day they are in my opinion like very like um they're very different from fantasy that i read yeah, yeah. they're very very different they feel it's a diff- lot See, that's the thing smuttier yeah. and like that too also i gotta bring up this line because it made me uncomfy um he it's in third person so uh sebastian while they're having their hot and heavy times says he, he wanted to impale her with his shaft <laughs> the, sex, he said the sex is very and i was very uncomfy he said i want to impale you with my shaft she, he didn't say it he was thinking it oh it was like oh sebastian wanted to just impale her with his shaft and i thought why say it that way is it because he's <laughs> mm-hmm. a vampire and it brings me to vlad the impaler i don't know that's fucking weird it's weird it's out of all of the smut in this book that's the part i was like that that's how you say it weird. the smut to me is very lyrical like it's just very like dramatic i think that's and, what like, i don't like 
It's like, silly. Genuinely, it's I fucking silly, hate it. But that's it's but pretty silly. That's why I actually like. I know that I like these books because I think the smut is silly. I like the idea of it. I love the amazing race aspect of it. My idea of like fantasy though is like. I want to be deep in the fantasy. That's another thing. I didn't feel like I was immersed into a fantasy. That's, and, and that's what I like. I like, like so the monsters. Felt, this is the it. thing. Like this series, like there, it's not for I, me. I couldn't insert you into a different book because you wouldn't get it. I wouldn't yeah. get it. Like, you yeah. have to start like from the you, beginning. You basically. can read these individually. I find I think there are just there are some entry points mm-hmm. that you cannot enter in. I think, but as you keep building on the but lore, that's how all of these fantasy you romances learn. have been. They that feel they feel surface level on the fantasy yeah. section on the world building, and it that's feels what it is. Like you're just dipping your toe in. Yeah, but you don't sink. That's what it is. And that's what all of the recommendations, like these fantasy romances, fantasy things, like that's exactly like once you start getting into the Wheel of Times and The Witcher and like those types of books, like it's where the world is first. Like you're world building, like that's what I like. Like the Game of Thrones, like you're I love it. that shit. Like it's that's, world first. I'll romance eat that second. up. I'll eat that up. Yeah, I, I. So that was actually a problem for me with like. Um, Zodiac Academy was like yeah. I felt like I'm oh, there's no that. world in there. I, I felt like I was like lost. Can't wait to talk like, about it. I'm trying to, to build that. that too. If but you like, if, if you want to hear that episode, you have to become a patron because that was our book club of the pick, m- pick of the month, whatever. So there's a lot of really cool Cressley Cole books. So there's one where like it's kind of similar to this one where like they have to go a bunch of places, but all of the places are different hell dimensions. <laughs> That's and fun. the guy, the main guy is like the devil basically. Oh, wow. uh. and the crazy, like the crazier hell gets, the uglier he gets. Oh. So it's kind of like a beauty and the beast, like esque yeah. situation. Yeah. It's not the same. It's not a retelling. She has whatsoever. a lot of really interesting ideas, but too. like, yes, yeah. I will all give her these, that. But bo- all yeah. of these books are completely different yeah. the storylines are completely if different. this is like for you if this is your thing like she's yeah. a fucking genius like she is she's brilliant yes, if, she's a great writer if you like these kind of books if like, you're into yeah. this sort of almost urban fantasy but not it's like yeah. fantasy light a lot yeah. of yeah a lot of romance in there i think these are great books to dive into i think that i th- I, again like i said there's a lot of good elements to this yeah and there are a lot of good moments with some of the characters mm-hmm. for me i just feel like mm. No, I'm with you. Yeah. Do you have any other recommendations outside of like that series? Outside of Crusty Cole, yeah. Um, so she does uh, some crossover books with um oh, that's cool. Gina Showalter. And a lot of people like her books because she's the Lords of the Underworld. Okay. I love how um, all of these have such high ratings on Goodreads. Because the people who read these books love They know these what they books. want. Yeah. yeah. This you know is, I mean? feel like it's very niche. It's like our Instagram. It's very... If our you fans, like, yeah. like, if you know us, you like our content. But, like, when yeah. we branch out into the world, that's terrifying. That's not for everybody. Um, <laughs> Sherilyn K- Kenyon. I've read one of her books. Yeah? Uh, My dad got yeah, me, me one too. of her books by accident. Oh, that's and the that's, one? that's the book that had... I think it was Archer on, something like that. And that's the one that has smut in it. And yeah. my dad gave it to me. He was, like, a sex slave. Oh, shit. And I was like, my dad bought me this. But <laughs> he said, this sounds cool. I got oh, it for you. No. These ones are, I read one and I thought it was really good. I haven't read more because it's not super smutty as much mm-hmm. as like a uh, Cressley Coles is. Mm-hmm. It, and the, I did not, I'm not a big Gina Walter fan. I read the first Lords of the Underworld, didn't really like it. Um, another one is the Black Dagger Brotherhood. Um, by J.R. Ward. Ward. I hear that everywhere. I don't read these books for one reason and one reason and only. I can't get them for under eight dollars. <laughs> oh. They're so you all read expensive. Them? I've read one and it, I was just such, like, it's one of those classic I'm not buying vampire series. Yeah. that are from like what two thousands or nineties maybe. Not I'm not even? buying no. that for eight dollars. But it's like a cult classic. Everyone's read them. Everyone loves them. I mean, the first the first Black Dagger Brotherhood has. 315,000 people wow. on Goodreads. Good reads, so it's like a Buffy it. type. Yeah, and it's rated yeah. 4.16. I wow. see it as like a Sookie Stackhouse, like True Blood level. I love Sookie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's how I see it. Okay. God, I miss True Blood. Um, me too. I, me personally, as a separate, like those ones are um, similar. My recommendation is the Night Hunter series by Jeannie Frost. Okay. Yes. Um, I heard you mention this one. She, this is more like it's more following the same person but it's like it's that like urban fantasy paranormal fantasy Mm -hmm. but yeah Cressley Cole just came out with Monroe um which is one of the other later in the series um one of the brothers sorry to interrupt you would you consider Savage Lands in this world in this vibe 
No. Or a little darker. I think Savage Lands is like a true fantasy. It is. I like Savage Lands. I would recommend Savage Lands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thank you for joining us this week, and we'll be back next week, hopefully. I don't know. Anything Let's happen. hope so. <laughs> um, if you want to follow us on Instagram, you can find us at books underscore N underscore Betches, B-E-T-C-H-E-S. Uh, we're on YouTube. You definitely want to watch these episodes because a lot of weird shit happens. Uh, last episode, Erica did some weird shit. Yeah. Um, just look us up on YouTube. Subscribe there. Don't shake your head. You know you did. Um, and then if you go on our Instagram, you click that link tree. You can find our Patreon and our Discord our and a Discord, whole bunch of other goodies. It's like a things. bag of goodies. So yeah. open it up. Yeah. Um, thank you for joining us. And we can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>